Welcome to a casted game of the Malians here on the Pup for Age of Empires 4. And we have two Red Bull Wolo professionals, Hut, playing as the green Malians here on the northwest side. I think this is Dry Arabia. It is. But down in the southeast, Liquid Dot Dumusum playing as the Malians. Let's see their openings as this is a new sieve and everyone's trying to figure out what's the best build order. He went for one to gold, one trip to his uh, wild elm tree there, his straggler tree, and he's actually not building. Hold on a second. Okay, I was like, is he going to skip the houses? Let's see if Hut does the same. He's built his two houses. Let's see if they build any more than that. It looks like he chopped a total of 50 wood. So both players going for two house openings uh, along with their... Uh, their, their pit mine. Now, if you have not seen a civilization before, I have a civilization overview for the Malians on the YouTube channel. So go check that out. You'll learn more about it. But this pit mine uh, will generate that passive gold for the civilization. And they can build one of these with each age. So the next age, you can put another one. Now look at this. Gathering 10 and then walking home. Is he not going to build? He's just going to go to food or wood maybe now. Very interesting. I don't think the Muslim did the same. I think he went back, just went back to... Maybe wood there or food? Very, very interesting. We also have got so nine on food right now for a hut. So a, a different start there. Now, I really expect to see a lot of these warrior scouts when we get into the next age. Uh, you see both players opening up with two scouts. And you can instantly upgrade these at the stable at the next age. And no other civilization is able to upgrade their scouts. So this game gets seven attack, which... With two of those, you're dishing out 14 per attack. And, you know, when you have villagers with only 50 uh, HP, that's quite good. And they're very, they, they get the speed of a horseman. It's absolutely amazing. So, I like this opening. He, he gathered that 10 and then came home. Only built two houses, so not overdoing it. Some players have been building a bunch of houses uh, all the way around this thing and then dropping their gold mine. But uh, not to him. He just went for the two there. Um... I wonder if the Muslim also chopped 10 gold out of that vein. It doesn't look like it if we click on the vein. Although I don't know if you can really tell. It's, yeah, no, he did not. So Hut did, but the Muslim didn't. So I'm really liking the way that Hut did this opening. And I expect to see the Manzakori being the landmark that is uh, selected for both these units. Now, the Muslim, he went for an early barracks. Look at this. We've got a Dark Age barracks, and he's going across to raid. And, of course, this Donzo, it can throw the spear. That is a unique ability for this unit. You can see that right there. Uh, it has a cooldown. doesn't take very long, but he can launch that bad boy out there. But what's he going to raid? Perhaps he could come across here and he can raid this gold pit, which is, I think, what we might see. Two of these up for grab. Let's see how far they are from the town center. Uh, I think they'll be just outside of range. Yeah, he should be able to siege with these. Uh, the Muslim has the Scout and his Donzo. And there's that Monzo Quarry we expected we would see. And that house is probably going to be going down. It'll be hard for him to hold this. Uh, so I kind of like the Muslim's early pressure. It's always nice to pressure Malians early on because you can guarantee there's going to be a house outside of Townsend range that you are able to harass. Okay, down to the south side. We've got the Muslim adding in some additional houses now. He's got his Donzo to defend his houses. And he's not aging up quite yet, so Hut should beat him to the next age. But he might be housed. Let's look at this. Yeah, he's going to be losing the houses, and he won't be able to even train his villagers. Look at that. 18 out of 15 right now. So building a house back there on his wood line forced him to spend some of that wood that he would rather be spending uh, on his either his archery range or a barracks or something. And he's going to be losing another house here. So the Muslim able to dish out some decent damage here. This is all under five minutes. So uh, enjoying to see this. The Donzo you don't really want to square off with in Dark Age unless you have Donzo yourself because of that ranged attack. It's kind of crazy. They're, oh, they're only unit with the ranged attack in uh, the Dark Age, with the exception of the Khan. But uh, I think the Donzo has the con beat for sure because it has the, the torch damage. Okay, two houses are down. You can see he's housed, uh, unable to... Well, they might have got one villager out in time. I don't know if he's been able to, unable to do his villagers, but he does have archery range going down. And we'll probably see some archers coming out. Will he be able to get the pit mine in time? I'm not sure that he will. The archers might get there. Now, on the other side, we do have the Muslim going up. He's got his Monza Quarry. Slap down nine villagers on that. He really wants to age up. Or it looks like maybe seven. Yeah, seven. And he even has a Donzo uh, doing some damage to that scout. Throws that javelin. Look at that. Five HP left there. Okay, the Muslim 
Uh, going to be falling back now that the archers are out on the field. Hut's going to be probably training archers and perhaps he'll be switched over to the javelin throwers. I see a lot of javelin throwers in these mirrors. Uh, and not opening up with the scouts, of course, because he kind of was under this Donzo pressure. So scouts would not be very good against those. We see the Muslim chasing back. Now look at this. These are archers. This is why these units are so good. I mean, the archers are their counter. Big turn around. They chucked a spear at him. No other spearman can do that. That's uh, that's great. Look at that cooldown. He's getting ready to do it again. There he goes. So he knows he, he can't mess around there. Look how much damage that archer took from one volley. Very, very good. Okay, so Hut has his archer range. What's he building there? Is that going to be a stable? That is, in fact, a stable. He has his Monsacori set to gold. No stone out of him. Sometimes you see two TCC, two TCs, but no two TC here. But going to lose a village. Look at how much damage he just took there. And these are hardened Donzo now. Going to be taking out uh, this house, I think, but archers coming there. I like that they're able to actually face off with archers. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so the archers are trying to get in there. Oh, losing a scout <laughs> to the spear throw. Oh my gosh, it is so good. The Muslim just being so obnoxious against Hut right now. He is also uh, has his quarry set on gold, but he is gathering stone, indicating that the Muslim is likely going for a second town center. So basically have kind of a 2TC build versus some aggro. We've got a stable out here. Uh, has he upgraded his, his scouts yet? The are warrior scouts. Look at the line of sight. Of course, it's a basic kind of a horseman with lots of line of sight. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, and no mines for him, by the way. He went completely for houses all the way around this thing. So you can actually build a, a gold mine on the last one, but it doesn't count as a house, of course. Okay, so Hut uh, keeping the Muslim out of his base with the use of his archers, but he is not going to TC, so it'll be curious to see if he's able to get the rating he might want here. Now, he is going for the sofa. Actually, no, is that Sofa? No, it's a Warrior Scout. I thought that might have been the Sofa. I'm still getting used to the icon, so... Yeah, that is, that is actually a, a Warrior Scout. It looks like... He has a really badass icon. It looks like a knight. <laughs> okay, so the Muslim just continues to throw the spears and then back off. Throw the spears and back off. I'm just being really obnoxious with that. And the Muslim has left one space for gold gold mine, should he want to put one down. And should be dropping down that second town center here in just about any minute. Uh, he has the three kind of stone he needs, but he doesn't have the wood. He's been spinning the wood, building his second pit mine in houses. Has Hut been able to get his second one down? No, he has not. He's sitting there on one pit mine right now. Is he going for professional scouts? Oh my gosh, I think he has. That is exactly what he's doing. Going for professional scouts, so Hut's going to be using the fact that these warrior scouts have that superior speed, and he's going out here and going to be grabbing these deer. Look at this. They're so much faster than the, the regular scouts, so it helps them with doing this. So he's going to bring all these back. Each one of those 350 food. Is the Muslim doing anything similar? No. He doesn't even have a stable, so no professional scouts. Uh, there we go. The Muslim's second house are being dropped on the wood line right now. No third TC. And he's kept his Monsacori on the gold. Okay, so the Muslim is getting away with his greed for now, but... Look at all those deer. Those deer are going to be nice for Demuz, uh, for Hut here in the long run. Maybe he'll even steal these deer in the middle of the map away from the Muslim. We'll have to see. Okay, so we've got the Muslim <laughs> continuing to dish damage out with his Donzo, uh, which is kind of crazy for a Spearman unit to even do any amount of damage to these archers. Sound like I heard some trading going on. Is there a market? I swear I heard some trading. Okay, he does have a market set up. Will he build traders, I wonder? He could, but I think this is probably just for remackering. I don't expect to see any traders. Dropping down two stables right now, so he's had it with the archers. He's going to be dealing with those. Let's see if he goes to the sofa or if he goes for the warrior scouts. The archers just kind of chasing around, trying to find out where those Donzo have run off to. He's a scout down front. He can see that. Uh, there's mines. He is set up his second mine now, though. Hut is, has a second mine going down. Monster quarry, stable, archery range. No cows out yet. Going for the melee armor. Interesting. Going for the melee armor right out of the gate. That's not typically the first one you see people grab. Uh, must be expecting that... I don't know. I wonder the reasoning for that. Maybe expecting that there's going to be Cavan coming. Perhaps he scouted that. Okay, 
Okay, so the Muslim is just sitting back doing his doom, his boom, his doom boom, two town center boom. Now dropping out a blacksmith of his own, uh, booming up while Hut is grabbing all that food. He has all these warrior scouts, and after they're done grabbing all the deer, <laughs> by the way, he has grabbed a ton of deer. Look at this. He, he sniped that deer patch that was like right here in front of the Muslim's base. That's going to starve the Muslim out here in the long run. He's going to have to uh, transition to cows or farms something. Let's go down to the north side. It looks like a scout was up against a Donzo. It looks like Hut might go to the next age. He, I, and I bet you he'll go up with the Ferimba and just use that gold to train his units. Uh oh, he's got to be careful there. Oh, the scout's kind of boxing the Donzo in as the archers uh, come and clean it up. Wow, that's an excellent trade for Hut. Taking out those uh, Donzo very easy. Look at that. They, they're no match against the archers. You hear him? Ah! Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, Hut is, has been just taking out... He has like lost no scouts. Has killed like all the Donzo. Wow. But the Muslims played greedy. And right now, you can see Donzo extremely, uh, extremely counterable by archers. They don't stand a chance against those. Like spearmen typically do. Did he even lose a unit? Oh, he's lost something earlier. Or I guess maybe in that fight. I didn't see anything die in that fight for him. Okay, the Muslim, though, uh, moving forward with his Sofa for right now. Sofa Lati Do. For you, uh, you choir kids out there. Okay. So we've got the Muslim pulling on back as Hut is aging up as he went up with the Ferimba. He is, in fact, doing the Firma Garrison. Now, if you haven't seen the Firma Garrison, it's particularly cool because all the units just cost gold. So you can just slap a good portion of your economy onto gold. And, of course, you've got the pit mines going on. Uh, and unit cost is converted to gold and reduced by 20%. So basically, there's a discount for units. You get five at a time. It is amazing. Again, the Muslim just taking a very poor trade here. Uh, versus Hut. It seems like Hut maybe just has a civilization figured out a little bit more at the moment. Uh, he's training a few Sofa, but I told you, Warrior Scout, S-tier unit. It is just pre performing absolutely amazing. Watch how quick it's going to take out this villager. That, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Chasing down these Warrior Scouts, or uh, these Sofa. He ain't scared of them. And now we've got the Ferimba is up here in the Third Age. Looks like he's busy micrating across the map, though, for now. Hut uh, trying to get out of there as he's being chased down by the Muslim Sofa. Now, this is the first uh, kind of nice trades I've seen from the Muslim here in a while. Finally, those Sofa have been able to deal some damage. Don't forget the Muslim is on 2TC. 44 villagers for a Hut, 55 for the Muslim. The Muslim has a lot bigger economy, but he could get overwhelmed buy a bunch of Firmba Garrison units because it's going to pump out five at a time. So look at this. This is only going to cost 360 gold. And the biggest thing is the train time. 22 seconds. When you can consider it, it usually takes, what, a total of 15 seconds to get the Donzo. It's only a few more seconds to get five of them. That is probably the biggest value of that thing. You guys can see why the Warrior Scout is just its just better because of the mobility. It's very, very nice. Here comes Madonzo, Archers, and Warrior Scouts. He's going to be dropping down a third gold pit. Torping up all across the map. Now, Demosama has been going for a bit of Muvu action here. He's building the cattle ranch and garrisoning the cows. They cost 100 gold a piece. Now, you can't eat those cows if you want. So they can have 500 food and gather at the rate of a boar. But they will generate gold if garrisoned. And over time, they will you know, pay back what your, your investment, the 100 gold investment you've made in them. I mean, a good way to look at, like, what does food actually cost in gold is, like, look at this. It would cost... 130 gold to buy 100 food at the market. Okay, a big fight going on. Hut, surrounded with the scouts, he just has a great mass. And the, the, the DPS, these things are able to dish out. Yeah, that's just like a bad trade after bad trade. The Muslim realized he had lost this despite having a really, really good economy. It just looked like the unit composition of a scout uh, of Hut seemed to be superior going with the, the archer 
uh, archer scout and then had an add in the donzo later on with the muslim he went for the so uh, the archer in sofa and very well played there from hut if you're watching this over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching this Cassic game. Hope you hit that sub button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about what is the best unit composition age to for the Malians. And I'll see you guys in the next one.